Hello everyone, welcome to another video, Dusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Creator Sites feature within Streamlabs, how to set it up, the requirements, and everything involved to create a website uh, specifically designed and tailored for creators, Twitch streamers, YouTubers, just streamers in general. Uh, and remember, this video is being released at the release of this feature, and things may change, things will be tweaked, things will be made better, but this video will show you how to get up and started, how to create your website, and all of the requirements to do so. So when you log into your Streamlabs account, you are now going to see a new feature or a new tab on the side that says my website. If we click on my website here, it, it may say beta, it may not, depending on when you're watching this video, you are going to then be transported to the streamlabs.com creator site editor page. This is where all of the magic happens. If you are familiar with what they call WYSIWYG or a site creator such as Wix where you can drag and drop different things and different assets from a site uh, to move them around, to place them around the website as you can see here. Um, this is going to be the main editor for your website. Now let's talk about basically what's available to you and what can be available to you. So first things first, this video is not sponsored in any way. Uh, I have been approached and contacted my Streamlabs. I do have a code that when you use my code, you'll be able to get $10 off the premium version of this, which is called Streamlabs Prime, but in no way am I being paid a lump sum to record this video. You can look at my history. I do a lot of videos on Streamlabs. I do a lot of tutorials. None of them are for Streamlabs. They are all for me. They are all for my channel. They are all for you guys in hopes of helping you get from point A to point B. So let's talk about Streamlabs Prime and kind of what it includes. Now, just for free, you're going to get the classic theme, which is just the basic theme. I'm going to apply the classic theme now to show you exactly what that looks like. It's just a basic theme. You'll get all of the, the features of the creator's site, except for a couple of the different things that I'm going to mention now. You don't get a custom email. You don't get the SEO settings and the analytics and the, the detailed statistics. Uh, and you also don't get the custom domain. And you also get like nine or 10 more premium themes that look way better than the actual original theme, which you see here. This one you'll get for free. And you also have to have your own domain name and things such as that. But if you use Streamlabs Prime, okay, again, there's a free and a paid version. You will get access to tons more themes as you can see here the one that i prefer is called portals as you can see here i'm going to go ahead and apply that back so you can see what that looks like but you'll get access to all of these different themes here you will also get access to a custom email you'll get access to the seo settings and things like that if you are a serious streamer a serious creator you are going to want a site to point people to you are going to want a website that they can go to that can have a place for them to donate a place for them to see your merchandise a place for them to see your statistics a place for them to see See your popular playlist as a YouTuber, a place for them to see your live stream embedded in VODs all in one place. And the Creator Sites gives you that availability. So understand that. That's kind of the thought process behind the paid and the free version. I obviously have a, a Prime account, and so let's go ahead and talk about that now. So in order to unlock Streamlabs Prime to get access to all of these features that I just mentioned, all the themes, the premium domain name, the actual email address, the statistics and analytics, you'll see something in the lower left that says unlock all these with Prime. So if you click on Prime here, you're going to see all of the different features here. And what I would suggest and request that you do is that you use my code. My code will be in the description of this video. If you do decide to do the premium version of this, you pay for it in one lump sum, but you can use my code. You can see it here on the screen. You can pause the video. You'll see it in the description of this video. But when you apply this code, you are going to get $10 removed from your annual fee that you're going to pay them. Now, if you look at any other website creators out there, you, you know, you're going to have to get a hosting. You're going to have to get a do domain name. This price is very reasonable. This price for $139 a year is very much comparable to what you're going to see across the board when it comes to website building. And with the, with the WYSIWYG being able to drag and drop, you have to have no website design experience whatsoever. Now with Prime, you can see here that you can get an actual domain name for free. So basically when you 
pay for Streamlabs Prime, you get access to a, a domain name that you can create. So type in the name of your Twitch stream. So for me, it's Dustbuster. That is the name of my Twitch channel. And so I definitely want to base it around that. You can see here that I have Dustbuster.live. That one is recommended. You can get Dustbuster.tv. You can get Dustbuster.com. Let's just say I want Dustbuster.live. Let's go there. Let's go to this one because it's recommended. Let's click on that. Are you sure you want to connect to Dustbuster.live? Hit confirm and you are good to go. Okay, that's how all of that works. Once you're done connecting your domain name, you're going to see it say, Congratulations, your site is now connected to dustbuster.live or whatever URL that you made it for. All right, now that we have our domain name live and we've chosen the actual URL that we want to use. Now, remember, if you already own a domain name through GoDaddy or Hover or another place that you've bought a domain name, you can always basically select the option up here. There's a little information button here where you can say, I already own a domain and you can connect with Streamlabs through Discord or through an email and they'll basically set it up and go ahead and get it set up for you and communicate with you and teach you and show you how to do that and they'll walk you through the whole process. The next thing I wanna show is the custom email. Under custom email here, you can see the mailbox is going to be at dustbuster.live forward to email address. Now here's the deal. You can create this, so let's just say I want mine to be dusty at dustbuster.live, and then I want to forward to my normal email address. So for me, my forward email address is this, and then when I'm ready, I click the green setup button, and now basically my email address is being set up on their servers. It may take a few hours, maybe a full day to get that set up. You want to go ahead and get an email. You sound much more professional when you can say, hey, email me at dusty at dustbuster.live or email me at john at johnthis.tv or whatever. You have your own personal email that you can use. Next, we're going to take a look at the SEO settings. If you don't know what that is, search engine optimization, allowing you to go ahead and title your website, give it a, a favicon, which is a little icon that shows up an image that shows up on the tabs, like what you see here on the Streamlabs site. They've got the Streamlabs logo up here on the upper left-hand corner. That is a favicon. All right, and then what you want to do here, this is going to let Google and the other search engines know what your website is all about. So for me, the title is going to be Dustbuster Twitch Stream. The description is going to be the official live stream of you know Dustbuster, this is the website, and then put the keywords, put your your channel, you know your Twitch channel, your YouTube name here, maybe something about yourself, Twitch gaming, any keywords that are related to your website. And then once you're ready, you can upload a favicon. Just remember when you do that, it's going to have to be a very small image. You can Google uh, normal sizes for favicon images, and it'll come right up, and you can basically adjust your logo to fit the actual favicon size requirements. Once you're done with all of that, go back to main. That's going to show you there. And the first thing. I want to show you is the general settings here, some different things that you can do. Obviously, the platform that I have selected will be Twitch. Now, you can do this via Twitch, you can do it on YouTube, and I'm sure as this progresses, you'll be able to do it on Mixer and other platforms as well. You can even manage your accounts here to where you can go to your accounts that are linked up to your Streamlabs account. As you can see, I have YouTube and Twitch. You can add Mixer, Facebook, Periscope, other platforms such as that. And you just hit the little toggle icon here uh, as to which one you want to be active. Also, you've got your handles here. So let's say I wanted to add my Twitter. So I can go to Twitter here, and my Twitter is this here, and then I just hit the addition symbol. It'll then allow me to add my Twitter account. Same thing goes for Instagram, Mixer, Facebook, anything like that, that you may want linked to your website. And as you can see here, with the nice WYSIWYG features, it automatically adds a Twitter logo here for people to come to and click on. Now, this is such a, a great opportunity. I know for me, I'm going to be building this up for my YouTube channel uh, to build a, an online presence to kind of give people a place to go uh, when they basically are on my YouTube channel and, and want a curated place to come with all of my videos, all of my details, all of my schedule and things like that. So you can do all of that through your socials. Now, under the theme section here, you're able to choose between a number of different themes. Maybe you're a Fortnite uh, streamer, you want that there, and more of these will be added as well. You've got a grunge theme, a retro theme, a glitch theme. You can go here and choose the one that you like. I like the portals theme. If you want to activate a theme, you just go to apply theme and hit confirm and you are good to go. 
The next option underneath themes is domain. Now for me, mine is being set up right now because you just watched me go and set up the dustbuster.live URL. Uh, if you haven't set one up yet, it'll basically give you a walk down of what you need to do to set up your URL to link to your website. Now for the fun part, let's go to the design aspect of the actual website. So under the design aspect here, you're going to see that we have all of the different things where we can change the colors, we can change the asset sizes, we can change the font style, the font sizes, all of that good stuff right here this is where you get to play around with things this is where you get to mess with things on your theme to make it look better if I want to add a different color or change the style I can do all of that here now normally you probably want to leave it the same that the theme is maybe you want to go and add a border to your different sections or maybe you want to change the colors you can do all of that here if you want to change the font you can do that by going to the font style all of that stuff will be done here and if you also have Streamlabs Prime you'll be able to add custom CSS if you know how to code or know someone who does who can make this even better and more in depth than say just the WYSIWYG editor that we have here. Now the beauty of all of this is going to be under the content tab. Now under the content tab these are all of the built-in panels that Streamlabs allows you to add. Obviously if you have you know coding knowledge you can add more but all of these are going to be a, a great way to add different things. So as you see here this is a YouTube playlist. So I've added a YouTube playlist to kind of start my website out. If I click the gear icon within all of the assets here on the website, you can see this guy comes available to me here. This is what they call the properties panel here, where you could add the details to make your panel come to life. So I've included the, the playlist here to put on my website. I have uh, basically, you know, left the color the same. I've enabled 3D mode, uh, and then I haven't messed with the CSS at all. And then as you can see, I have a nice little playlist that when people go to, when they they go to my URL, they're able to see a nice little catalog, or they call this a carousel in the website business, uh, of the different videos within that specific playlist. Down below here, as you can see, um, I have added a, a donation or a tip area where people can go and give me a donation message, even when I'm streaming or not streaming, which is beautiful, uh, a loyalty tab, and uh, this one is wonderful here, a schedule. Now, if I want to move any of these aspects or assets around, I click and hold, I drag them, and I can move them anywhere on the website. This is the whole WYSIWYG aspect of this video. So again, if I wanted to remove a act an actual asset, I click the trash can icon and I'm good to go. And as you can see here, as we're recording this video, it says, congrats, your new domain is live. It can take up to an hour for this to spread across the internet. So now you should be able to go to this URL and it may take a minute, but as you can see, this here is what the website looks like. So you can go here, you got the playlist up above, you've got down here, you've got the donation, you've got the feed, and you've got a place for you to tip, got a place for it to see the schedule, and this is all being done within Streamlabs. That's such a wonderful thing. It's got your profile image in the upper left-hand corner. It's a great thing. Now, any changes that you make within the editor, you need to save them for them to apply on the live site like you would within anything. So remember that as well. So let's say I wanted to add a leaderboard. If I wanted to add a leaderboard of say tips or people who are following or whatever it may be, I can click and hold and drag that leaderboard over there. And basically when people start tipping, you're going to see your leaderboard here on your website, which is really neat. Now remember, you can remove an asset by clicking the trash can icon to remove that. Now, let's say I want to add my Twitter feed. I can drag and hold that over there. Now, now I have my Twitter feed directly on my website. So the beauty of all of this is the ease of use of being able to add and remove panels with ease. And this is a fantastic way for you to go in and understand that you can create a homepage for people to come to when they are you know, accessing your stream, or maybe you're offline, they're viewing a VOD and they're like, hey, or even more importantly, for sponsors and people, game companies willing to approach you and to, to get in touch with you, a website is very, very much professional. So it's, it's, it's fantastic to be able to have this. And as you can see here, I can just go and look at all of these different component layouts. And if I wanted to, I can even add a section. So if I click the addition symbol here, I can add sections and you can decide what you want your section to look like. Do you want a full panel? Do you want a double panel? Do you want uh, two stacked on top of the other? All of these can be added just like this. And then if I want to add, say, a live stream, I can do that here. And then when I'm live streaming, that will show up directly here on my website. And the last thing I want to cover is the ability to add new pages or external links to your website. OK, so let's say you want to add a new page. You go up to the top left, go to where you see here where it says active page. Underneath that, it says add a page or external link. 
If you click on that, you're going to see the new pages that you've created. You can delete pages by clicking the delete button there. You can hide from the navigation bar, which is a great feature within websites. But let's add a new page. Let's add a page here. And let's say we want this page to be called merch. We want all of our merch to be on a specific page. We're going to call it merch. It's going to give us the direct URL. And then basically what we want to do is we can even set this as our new home page if we want to. That's how we create a new page. And then once you do that, if you click out of that, you can go here, select the drop down menu. That allows you to select which page you're working on. And then you can go and start adding sections to the new page like you would normally. Drag your merch over on top there. And that's going to be a place for you to add your merch. And it's going to all show up directly on your website. Now, let's add an external link. Let's say you are a partner with Amazon. You've got Amazon affiliates. You're a partner with GOG, whatever it may be. Go to add external link. What do you want your page name to be? So for me, I'm going to say uh, YouTube, okay? And then add my YouTube channel right here. Once I add my channel URL here, basically all I have to do is go to add link. Now, anytime you make a change, like what I just did with adding a new page, adding an external link, you need to make sure that you're going to the upper right-hand corner and clicking the green button that says Save and Publish. You click that button there, and that's going to save and publish everything. And now when we go to the website, the live website, you're going to see now I have a YouTube link, a merch link up here. When I click on the new external link, it'll take me directly to my YouTube channel. Again, all of this, so easy to do, so easy to use, and it's all being provided to you within Streamlabs with the creator sites. And the last thing that I want to show you is the ability to add a professional looking contact form to your website. This is a place where game companies, sponsors can contact you and basically have a place for them to go and say, hey, I don't know how to get in touch with you. I don't know how to use Twitch. I don't know how to use YouTube, but I do know how to go to a website. And if we go here and add the contact form, basically it's like any other asset. You click and hold, you drag it over to the website. And then when you're ready, click save and publish. And now if we go to our website on the homepage, we're going to see down at the bottom here, a great looking con contact form where you can go add your email address, add your message, and it will be sent directly to your new email associated with your website. In closing, I will say this, the first feature, the first things that you'll have access to with the Streamlabs Prime membership will be the creator sites features. But in the future, they are going to be adding a ton more. So if you get in early on this, you're going to have access to all of the things that come available to you through the Streamlabs Prime membership. Again, this is called Creator Sites within Streamlabs. If you have any questions, put those down below in the comments section. Start creating that website, keep on streaming, and I will see you guys in the next one.